so I'm just doing a really quick video tonight. Um, I just got home from kind of like a special yoga class. So um, my studio is having kind of some special classes that are open to the public on Friday evenings. Last week it was Yoga Nidra, which um, I'm still raving about and loving it, loving it so much. Um, and with Tracy Stanley. So if you don't know what Yoga Nidra is or you don't know who Tracy Stanley is, check it out. Um, information will be in these notes as well as from the class last week. Um, but anyway, tonight was a gong bath with um, Fawnees. Fontis. <laughs> I will have her name correct. Um, and I'll put it in the show notes. And you can also check Green Tree um, Yoga and Meditation site in LA for the full deets. But the big thing that I want to get across was like how meditative and healing um, gong baths are. And it's basically using sound frequencies um, because our body is made up of like, they say at least 60 or 70% water. And so you know how sound waves moves, you know, that whole flow. I'm a little gonged out, but um, yeah, so it was really, really um, healing. It felt like a meditation. I mean, it was a meditation. It felt like going into um, sleep, but not sleep, that state in between being awake and being asleep. And uh, I was, I had done this before. Um, in the Kundalini Yoga practice, in fact, Yogi Bhajan, who is the master teacher that brought Kundalini Yoga to the United States, he is a master of the gong and really big into the power of the sound current. And so um, most Kundalini Yoga classes, especially Kundalini Yoga workshops, most of the teachers um, are skilled in the gong. And so often your Savasana, your Shavasana at the end, includes a, a gong treatment um, either live meaning they're playing the gong or it's they use a sound they use like you know a recording so i am very used to that in fact when i first came to hatha and they were like this is shavasana and it was this quiet thing i was like wait what this is it but then i said okay brooke get into the breath and meditate but um with the gong bath or with like a gong shavasana it's like a double healing. It's like this amazing, like juicy morsel treat that happens at the end of a Kundalini yoga class. Um, and so tonight it was just a full on like hour, I think approximately hour and a half of a gong bath. And that's just when they, she's, someone's playing the gong or in this case, several different gongs or, and some bells as well. Um, and letting the vibrations just, you know, cascade throughout the entire room. So I loved it. You know, there were people talking about their experiences of basically having their heart open up, their heart chakra open up. There were people that talked about like falling into this deep meditative space. Um, there were people that got over restlessness. Um, everyone had really amazing experiences. I had a vision that I, I'm not sure I'm gonna share at this moment, because I'm not really sure what it means, but I did have a vision during my meditative sp space. Um, and then at the end, I felt itchy, which was new to me. I don't know if it was the wool blanket from the studio or what, but those were just some of the sensations that I had. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I love meditative experiences and unique ones, and this definitely tops the list. I'm, I love gong. So next week, um, we are having at the studio another similar gong bath kind of thing, but it's going to be with the crystal bowls. So another sound treatment, another healing sound treatment, but using like the Western version um, where they are actually like crystal bowls versus the more like ancient looking bowls and gongs. So I'm excited about that. Um, I've definitely heard those and I've had people use them for meditations, but I can't say that I've actually experienced like an hour or two hour long treatment with that. So I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, I have to go look over my yoga sequence that's due tomorrow. I think I've overthought it. 
and um, you know do a little bit more of my homework and then get some rest and take care of my little guy and praying he doesn't wake up for any reason and um, maybe if I can like just have some tea and settle in and have like a moment to really integrate the experience that I just had with the gong so love and light and I will talk with you soon indulging in a little chips and my I think it's spicy peach or spicy peach mango salsa from Trader Joe's. I need a little grounding after all of the gone. Here's a picture of Fontese with Heal With Sounds. Here's a picture of my little guy from a birthday party this morning.